Welcome to my PS4 pickups episode number five. Uh, this will be the pickups for the last couple of months to go through. There's quite a few to go through. I haven't done a video in quite some time. So yeah, there's a few games um, that we have to go through and um, we'll start and I'll just speak um, regarding each game that I played, um, what my um, verdict on those games are. Um, the other ones I haven't played, I will mention that. And so yeah, um, let's get started. Like I said, there's a few games to go through, so um, let's get started. And yeah, the first one is The Walking Dead The New Frontier. This is the third one in the installment of The Walking Dead Telltale games. Now I have played episode one of this so far. And yeah, the story is quite interesting. It takes off whether the last... Um, Season 2 ended. So yeah, it's a good pickup. It's your know, normal Telltale games. Um, so yeah, everybody by this stage know the Telltale series. Um, unfortunately, the studios are closing down. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, um, when the, 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 I think there's another one after this. Um, when I find that one for cheap, then I will pick that one up also. But yeah, like I said, I started episode 1 of this one. Uh, waiting for the other episodes to to download and then I will finish this game easy platinums and Yeah, good story games The next one is a sport title. That's the the golf club collectors edition uh, Haven't played this one yet um, Yeah, I'm don't usually pick up sport games, but this one I got quite cheap and uh, Yeah, looking forward to to delving into it and seeing um, how this is Nice games if you have friends over to play with. So yeah, we'll giving that one a try as soon as I get a chance. Next we have um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, the last installment on the on the three game series. Um, also, yeah, story wise, it's, it's a good story, a good finish to the the, the um, trilogy. So I enjoyed this one. Um, it's not that as as good as the, the others were. Um, I preferred number two over this one. This is the Steelbook edition, as you can see, quite a nice Steelbook. Yeah, the second was one was for me better than than this one, um, but still, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Visually, it looks good. Um, story wise, it's it's not a bad story. Um, a lot more to do in in this one than the others. Um, yeah, it's it's not bad. It's 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 the same game I will say as as number two and number one as the first one. But I did enjoy uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider more story wise than I enjoyed Shadow of the Tomb Raider. But still not a bad pickup. Next, um, we have the Crew Two. Yeah, um, a decent racing game, not the best. I did pick this one up for quite cheap. It's okay sequel to the first The Crew. Uh, the the one thing that puts me off of these games it's um, online only. Yeah, like I said, um, they could just made they could just have made this as a DLC to the first one. Uh, at the end of the day, it's it's. It's exactly the same as the first one. Um, they're only thrown in planes and, and boats and stuff like that that the, the first one didn't have. It's it's not a bad open world racer. Uh, I haven't played much of it, um, but what I have played, it, it, it's decent. Next up, um, Yakuza 6, The Song of Life. Yeah, I do enjoy the Yakuza games. Uh, I, mean, I only need Yakuza Kiwami 2 to complete my set of games released of the Yakuza series. Yeah, this is a, this is a great finale to the Yakuza series. I did enjoy this one uh, very much. And it's your basic Yakuza game for those who have played Yak the, the Yakuza games. Good story, um, quirky Japanese um, characters and storytelling. Um, very good. I, I do enjoy um, the Yakuza games and the Yakuza series. So I do recommend for those that doesn't know about the series or haven't played any of these games, have a look at it. Um, and I'm sure um, 
if you played um, Yakuza 0 or Kiwami, um, the first Kiwami game, uh, you will get into the series. It's not bad. Next up, um, Sniper Ghost Warrior um, 3. Um, haven't played this one at all. So there's not much that I can say about this. Um, what I do know, it didn't get the, the best reviews. Um, but yeah, um, I usually don't um, look at the reviews that much. I play the game to make up my own mind. Um, I did pick this one up for quite cheap. So if it's a bad game, then I haven't lost that much. Um, so yeah, but I will still give it a try, see what it's about. And yeah, then only I can give my honest opinion about it. But yeah, uh, for a game that I picked up quite cheap, looking forward to giving that a go. Then one of the big releases of last year, we have uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Finished the main campaign, um, didn't do a lot of the side missions. Um, played about two hours of the online uh, multiplayer mode. Yeah, a great, great game. Uh, Visually looks great, great open world, great characters, great storytelling. Highly recommend this game if you haven't played it or haven't picked it up yet. It takes, um, the, the story takes um, a new perspective on the Red Dead games. Um, it, it plays off before the first one. Um, it's a prequel to the first Red Dead. But yeah, um, if you have played the Red Dead number, the first Red Dead, you will highly uh, enjoy this one. Even though you maybe you haven't played the first one, um, I do recommend picking this one up, playing it, and then maybe on a later stage picking up number one and playing that through. Um, yeah, the the main character, um, John Marston, in 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 this one, I really is a good character. Did enjoy it. all the characters, all the the. NPCs in that game is, is great. Um, great storytelling that um, Rockstar did on their behalf. Next, another big release. It's a um, PlayStation 4 exclusive. It's Marvel Spider-Man by Insomniac Games. Yes, another great game that was released, uh, released last year. Um, I think this one got really overshadowed by the other big releases, um, especially when the, the game of the year awards was was announced um yes i'm happy for god of war and i think they do that deserve getting um the god of uh, the the um game of the year award but um spider-man i don't think they have they they got any any awards at the game game awards um and they did deserve some awards in my opinion because this is really a great open world game. It's a, um, a fresh game received last year. Um, really, really good game. Storytelling as well, graphics, the, the web slinging, everything was great on this game. And I do recommend picking this up if you haven't yet. It's a great uh, PlayStation 4 exclusive and yeah, highly recommend that one. Next one, uh, another big release for, for last year. It's another PS4 exclusive, uh, Detroit Become Human by Quantic Dreams. Yeah, it's a, a story-based, um, make-your-own-adventure type game. Uh, these games are better than the, the Telltale series. Um, you feel more a part of the game as in the Telltale series. Uh, what you do, your decisions that you make in this game really um, deals the outcome at the end of the day so yeah you will have multiple outcomes um, people will have multiple endings to the game and you can play a great that puts a great uh, replayability on this game so I recommend this one as well I did complete this one as did I complete the, the spider-man game one that I haven't touched yet is uh, Dark Souls 2 uh, scholar of the first sin I've been looking for this one for quite some uh, quite some while to complete my Dark Souls um, series. I do have the number, the, the first the remaster one and then number three. Uh, so yeah, I will I will start with number one, um, hopefully complete it, and then um, start with this one. And 
I have played uh, um, quite a lot of number three. I haven't completed it yet, but yeah, as soon as I finish number one, this one will, will go on and then the third one I will restart again and, and hopefully complete these games. Not good at them, but yeah, it's a challenge that you can set out for yourself. The uh, last Call of Duty game that I needed to complete my set, I'm still now um, um, waiting for uh, Black Ops 4 to, to drop in price. Um, I'm not fond of the only multiplayer aspect of that game. Uh, as I do like the Call of Duty campaigns, uh, that's the only reason why I pick up the Call of Duty games to play the, the, the single player campaigns. And yeah, Black Ops 4 doesn't have that. So yeah, I um, did complete the, the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare campaign and it wasn't bad for what people make it out to be. It's not the best, but yeah, it's, it's what you would expect from a Call of Duty game. And then another pickup that I haven't played yet and that's a way out. Yeah, this one... Um, it's a two-player couch co-op or a two-player online, however you want to play it, game. Uh, looking forward to playing this one with my wife. Um, it looks interesting. I heard good things about about it. So yeah, looking forward to when I have a chance um, in playing this, I will, I will play it with her and see how it is. Uh, the last pickup that I have, I have sunk... Um, almost 100 hours into um, did enjoy it the best one so far in the series um, the last release in the series um, I enjoyed it for what I've played very much um, this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey the gold edition comes with all the, the DLCs um, picked it up for quite a bargain so yeah um, like I said uh, 100 hours in the main story campaign I have finished I'm doing all the, the side missions there's a lot of them i'm doing all the side missions and all that stuff now and after which i will i will delve into the, the dlc that has been released so far i will complete that currently um i'm playing this and um still playing destiny 2 so yeah, between the two i will i will jump and um when i get fed up with destiny i'll jump into this and when i get uh, fed up with this i jump into destiny again yeah um it's a very good game greek mythology the best in my opinion so far in the series um coming off the assassin's creed number um, number two it's one of the best um hoping to for them to to remake the first one and maybe the third one so that i can build up my old assassin's creed um collection thus far i do have all of them so um, just hoping for the others to get remastered so that I can finish my PS4 um, Assassin's Creed collection and show that also to you. So yeah, that is all the pickups in the last couple of months that I picked up. Like I said, there's quite a few, a lot of these games I didn't pick up on release. I picked them up for quite cheap. So yeah, um, that's why there is so many. So yeah, I'm looking forward to picking up quite a few for, for this year. Um, don't know if I'll pick up any new releases. Um, I will go into all the older games still that has been released um, that I still need for my collection and therefore I will still continue to, to grind out the backlog as I need to finish a lot of other games that I haven't touched yet. But yeah, um, systematically I will, I will finish all these games one day. There's no rush. Yeah, thank you for watching. I do uh, hope that you like this video and then um, I hope that you subscribe to the videos. Um, this year I will I will really make an effort to make more videos um, when I do have the time as to uh, yeah, I have a permanent job and all that stuff so I don't have the time every day to make a video or every second day. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy this and then um, hopefully you can can like and subscribe and share this video and hope for, for, for more videos to come, more pickups, more collection videos. There is a, another PS4 collection video that is coming. So I will be filming that soon and then um, I will start doing gameplay videos again. I know that's not the, the, the um, best views videos on the channel but 
yeah, I will just start a series again. If you want to watch it, you can watch it. If you don't don't like it, uh, it's up to you as the as the viewer. But I will I will make an effort more to to make more videos out for the channel. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that.